This is the only remedy in the world every single kidney disease patient should be taking every day if they want to avoid dialysis. Catherine here, a very special video today. In my videos, I mostly talk about remedies and supplements that may help and that I want you to get informed about. This is because those remedies are supported by studies that tell us that they have helped some patients, usually dozens or sometimes hundreds of patients. And chances are that those remedies can help you too. Well, the remedy I'm going to show you today is different. This is something you don't need to research. I'm not exaggerating here. This is probably the only remedy in the world, not including vitamins, that's proven to help by several very large reviews of studies. It's the most tested and most effective way of improving your kidney function right now. One large review of studies conducted on nine trials comprising 444 patients concluded that this remedy significantly reduced the risk of dialysis and is associated with a lower risk of proteinuria. Guys, this is not something you read every day, even when you read as much scientific literature as I do. This remedy lowered both proteinuria, one of the main indicators of kidney function, and slowed down the progression to dialysis. Both these results were significant when compared to a placebo and were observed in a very large number of patients. So you may understand why I'm telling you that you must use this remedy if you are serious about avoiding dialysis as long as possible. On the other hand, a deficiency in this nutrient causes fatigue, poor memory, dry skin, heart problems, mood swings, or depression, and poor circulation. The remedy I'm talking about is omega-3 fatty acid. Yes, omega-3s are one of the most important remedies in the world when it comes to kidney health. But even if you are already taking this remedy, consider that they also come with a hidden danger you should be aware of. Not all brands are safe and today I will also show you how to find an omega-3 supplement that's safe for people with kidney problems. Let's see now what happens to your kidneys when you start to supplement omega-3s. This remedy has incredibly potent anti-inflammatory properties. Omega-3 fatty acids can reduce the production of molecules and substances linked to inflammation such as inflammatory eicosanoids and cytokines. Chronic kidney disease has a very important inflammatory component. Inflammation actively damages your kidneys and omega-3s can protect them. Omega-3s can improve all the main risk factors for kidney disease, heart disease, and metabolic syndrome. And also, your blood pressure will go down by around 4.5 over 4 millimeters of mercury. Your bones and joints will be healthier. Patients taking omega-3 supplements have also reported reduced joint pain thanks to the anti-inflammatory properties of this remedy. Inflammation is also linked to insulin resistance. Studies are also linking higher omega-3 intake to increase insulin sensitivity and lowered blood sugar levels. And this home remedy may also help uremic pruritus at higher doses. It's the only remedy in existence that does this. Now, looking at this impressive list of benefits, you may ask, what are the best dietary sources of omega-3s? Omega-3s are mainly found in fatty fish such as mackerel, salmon, herring, and sardines. These fishes are basically the only sources of EPA and DHA, the most important omega-3s. Unfortunately, most kidney disease patients should avoid these foods because they're too rich in protein. Now, there is a third type of omega-3 fatty acids called ALA or alpha-linolenic acid. This is a type of omega-3 found in plant-based foods such as flaxseed, chia seeds, walnuts. ALA is a precursor to EPA and DHA, meaning that the body must convert ALA into EPA or DHA before it can use it. However, this conversion process is inefficient in humans. Only a small percentage of ALA is converted into EPA and even less into DHA. 
when ALA is not converted to EPA or DHA, it is simply stored or used as energy like other fats. Now, don't get me wrong, foods rich in ALA are very healthy, but you still want to supplement EPA and DHA. This is why I recommend supplementing them. Safety first, don't take omega-3s without watching this part. Lately, several supplements brands have been caught purposely making misleading labels to make their supplements look better than what they actually are. When it comes to omega-3 supplements, these may be extremely dangerous for someone with kidney problems. Take a look at this for example. Looking at this label, you may think you're buying an expensive omega-3 fish oil supplements. What you will be actually buying instead is cod liver oil. Now, while cod liver oil is usually safe for the general population, someone with kidney problems should completely avoid it. This fish liver oil contains large amounts of vitamin A. Vitamin A is one of those vitamins you should never supplement. It can accumulate and cause toxicity. Just one tablespoon or 14 grams of cod liver oil can fulfill up to 270% of your daily vitamin A needs in one serving. Very dangerous! So, double check anything you may be already taking and always avoid supplements containing cod liver oil and also halibut liver oil. Now, even good omega-3s come with some side effects, including the risk of bleeding. Omega-3s have a blood thinning effect at higher doses, so speak to your doctor if you have a bleeding disorder or are taking blood thinning medications like aspirin or warfarin. Recent research confirmed that you really need to tailor suit your omega-3 intake if you want to benefit from it. So, how much EPA and DHA should you take to get the benefits? If you're not taking omega-3s yet, my advice here is to start with the lowest dose you see here. See how it makes you feel. Chances are that the minimum dosage will already make a big difference. And that's also the safest dosage on the long term for everyone. Some people also take a higher dose to have some specific benefits. There are studies showing that taking around 1000 mg of omega 3s every day can treat heart disease and protect the kidneys from high blood pressure. Guys, taking omega 3s at these doses requires consulting a doctor. Like any remedy, the higher the dose, the higher the risk of side effects, especially bleeding. Now, omega-3s are still considered safe and have additional benefits at doses of 2,000 to 4,000 mg a day. These dosages can be used to lower cholesterol levels and to treat patients with CKD in the advanced stages caused by IgA nephropathy. Remember that we are talking about EPA and DHA combining here, not fish oil. Another study found out that even those suffering from pruritus caused by kidney disease can benefit from supplementing omega-3s, which is frankly amazing. Now guys, when it comes to remedies for kidney health, only certain antioxidants can boast the benefits omega-3s have. In a breakthrough study, kidney disease patients taking the antioxidant in this beverage had a significant improvement in proteinuria, the main predictor of kidney disease outcomes, in just 90 days. If you want to know more about it, watch my video up here in the software today. Thank you for watching.